Sir, the prisoner has escaped in a pod. He's on his way right now to a little blue planet called Earth. Then send in the berserker. Hopefully, I can get this out to you. I'm having difficulties with the with the internet and Wi-Fi, so I'm trying a little a different route of how I, I'm doing this, uploading. So, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and uh, hopefully you like this video. Um, I can't see it, so let's just get on with this. Army of Thieves is this film. It is a thriller. It was released on Netflix October 29th today. Runtime is two hours and 77 minutes. And the director is Matthew Skoshwerg. Uh, totally butchered that last German name. Uh, he is also the main character in this film and also his character was also in the Army of the Dead. And here's the cast and we'll continue. All right, welcome back. Here's the plot. In this prequel to Army of the Dead, a mysterious woman recruits bank teller Dieter to assist in the heist of an impossible to crack safes across Europe. So this is this takes place before Army of the Dead, as far as I could tell, uh, which I like the first half of Army of the Dead, but didn't care for the other half of the film. And I know there are a lot of people liked the film and a lot of people didn't. It was torn. Uh, as far as I could tell from the comments under all the videos under YouTube, the Netflix YouTube channel. A lot of people loved Dieter. I personally hated him in the other movie. As to me, he was super annoying. But it, that's just my opinion. But in my opinion, in this film, he wasn't that bad. There was jokes in here that I could have done without, though. I did like the director's work in here with the camera work and the introducing of the characters. And there was more of a character backstory to side characters, but not as much as with theater, as far as I could tell. Now, the, uh, the Interpol boss character was the worst character in here, along with his uh, rest of his Interpol team, in my opinion. Uh, it uh, a lot of that and a lot of stuff felt like cheap comedy some was a little bit more cheap stick comedy but it is what it is wasn't expecting that much I was I was kind of expecting something like that going into this with the year's character now for the story the story was a bit of a comical heist action film with zombies in the background it was oh it was an okay film in my opinion the comedy uh, the story was okay I mean uh, the comedy and some of the character took away from the story for me personally in my opinion it felt a little bit forced the comedy uh, I would have loved this movie if it didn't have that in it everything else wasn't bad at all but did have a bunch of filler moments in it Here's my rating for this film, and I want you to keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. I had different tastes than a lot of people, obviously, because obviously I didn't like Dieter. And a lot of people loved his character, so. In my opinion, I'm honestly torn somewhat if I like this more or less than Armor of the Dead. The writing was better, but the comedy I didn't like. But I still like this more than I thought I would. As I was going into this, thinking, pretty much sure I was gonna hate this, which I was wrong, I didn't hate it, I thought it was okay. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this film. Are you thinking about seeing it? What did you think of uh, the last film? Because this is a, a theater story and it lead up to it. And I don't know if they're going to be doing a whole bunch of films where they're going to be t doing each character behind the scenes. 
Um, I do feel like they could have done a little more with Dieter's character. Uh, even though I, I still didn't really necessarily like him, but I didn't hate him this time. Um, so, um, again, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And who the hell knows when I'll be have putting on a Vex video because we're having some issues that hopefully can get fixed. So, it, was even, it, it would be lucky if I can even get this out. So, I love you all. Please, uh, and please have a good weekend. And uh, skull.